Hey y'all, Billy and William from Perma Pastures Farm. Finally got him in a video with me. Smile, son. Dad. <laughs> a big hug, come on. Dad, come big on, family man. hug. Yeah, so here we are out in the chicken tractor on steroids. The real theme of today is making the problem the solution. Basically the theme of permaculture. And we're in the chicken tractor on steroids. If you're new here, you might go back and check out some of the previous stuff we've done. And if you're an old hand here, you know that this is how we produce our compost. In fact, this right here, look at all those bugs coming off of there. That's a good thing. It was starting to go a little anaerobic. We talked about it on Patreon. It was starting to go a little anaerobic. So we basically volcanoed the pile where the pile was once up real high. We pulled out the sides, let it cool off a little bit, and then the chickens go back to work. So we're gonna let them hit it one more time. And then at the end of today, we're gonna put it back together. With the sunlight, with the lack of moisture today, we ought to be just fine. Plus we're high altitude, so we're gonna lose more moisture. That's exactly what we want here. Um, so down here, problem being the solution, what do we got in this bucket? We just basically processed two pigs. Yeah, so all the things we don't wanna deal with, this, is, this one's, okay, go ahead and put that back on, son. Yeah, good night. This has only been sitting there for a day. I mean, actually two days. Today will make two days. We processed the first pig the day before our friends came over. And this is what we got in here. Now, let me just kind of weigh it all out for you. All the guts, everything that came out of the inside of that pig. Now, there are things you could extract and do something with. The liver, the kidneys, and so on and so forth. You can basically do something with every bit of it. Um, the head we want to keep because we're going to use that for tanning in the future and pig brains, we're told, are the best. But we got this, what would ordinarily be a problem for most people, a, a, you know, a waste stream that most people would think, okay, what do I do with it now? Well, look, we're in a system where these chickens, we'll go down here and take a quick look. These chickens basically derive all of their carbs out of here. So what we give them, they're almost to the point where they're on 100% food scraps and they're nearing week six of their lives. So, I know it's kind of hard to see because we got this little hawk protector on top. But basically, we come out here, put vegetables, whatever we can, whatever carbohydrates we have, we put in here. And all of their protein, they act, extract out of that pile. Well, today's going to be an exception. And we're doing a couple of things at the same time. We're going to take those guts. We're going to put them down in here. Now, the chickens have never had anything like this before. And it's cool. You're going to find out that their instincts are going to kick in. They're going to do exactly what chickens are supposed to do. So we're gonna dump this in here and that's gonna be what they eat today. We may provide a little bit of carbs, but trust me, they're gonna be like, whoa, what is this? By the end of today, with roughly, we'll, we'll say about almost 50 birds in there, they're gonna wipe out a fair bit of this. Now this is critical. At the end of the day, we're gonna take a bunch of carbon and we're gonna put it on top. And it's important for a couple of reasons. Number one, we don't wanna be calling in a bunch of predators, which wouldn't be all that bad because we got my intrepid milk boy which is around here somewhere. Yeah, he's down there doing his milk boy thing. Anyway, he'll make sure the predators stay at bay, but we don't want to deal with it anyway. So we're going to take that and dump it in there. Now, um, the hawk protection we got here, we're basically going to get this out of the way, push it off to the side, and um, we'll be off and running. Honey, you better back up. You got to get splashed. All right, y'all, as you can imagine, this is positively disgusting. And it smells it. We like to do it typically right after we're done, and then we put it right into this thing. But it's always cool when you got the chicken tractor on steroids going, along with the processing that you do of any animals. In fact, at the very end of this cycle, when we process these meat birds in here, the last compost pile we have all of their feathers, guts, all the things we don't want to eat are going to be put in here. All right, so with that said, because I know Michelle's went, she's grimacing back there smelling this thing. Um, let me go ahead and let them out. We'll see what they do. Because I've been down this road a bunch of times before, let me just kind of tell you what's going to happen. 
this is a whole new thing for them. And they got, now there's some things they're not gonna eat like that hide. We also had bull poop in the bottom of there, otherwise known as Washington DC. We had some of that in the bottom of that bucket from before. And we just put the guts on top. So they're in here wondering, yo, what's up with this? Hey dude, it tastes great, but less filling. This is kind of where they are right now. But as you can see, they're already demonstrating some interest and all they need is just one. It's like the hundredth monkey thing. All they need is one of them to, um, to go to work. After that, the rest of them are gonna say, yo, what's going on here? In fact, we got one over here. You can kind of see it getting after it right now. Anyway, they're gonna wipe this out. They're gonna go to work. The key is, is that when I give them like their regular food scraps today, I'm not gonna give them as much because the idea is for them to come down here and work on this. And at the end of the day, when you do this sort of thing, y'all, what's, what's of profound importance, I mean, and I can't stress this enough, is make absolutely positively sure you cover this up with an ama adequate amount of carbon. You don't want to be calling in predators. Either way, they're still going to kind of get the dinner bell, but you really want this stuff to compost. In fact, if you want to know the real truth, you can ask William, the best compost we ever make around here is when we put this kind of stuff in there. So that's exactly what we want. We're wanting the best compost in the world and this is how we do it. And now these birds are going to work. All right, so check it out, y'all. I know a lot of people have been asking if we have any more rice knives. We should have some back up on the website tonight. Comfrey, which they will get a fair amount of every single day. In fact, you wanna see how they react? Watch this. We'll go ahead, now they always freak out a little bit when you put this in there. And we'll just go ahead and throw some of that in there. They always eat the comfrey first. They'll eat what they need. They won't overdo it. At least that's never been our experience. So they'll work that over a little bit. And then throughout the day, they're gonna be working on these guts, but you can't overfeed them. Every time you put something in there, I can't stress that enough, do not overfeed them, or they're gonna be less likely to work on this. But hey, we feed everything to chickens, but chicken, and everything to pigs, but pig. And that's basically how it goes around here. So these guys are off doing their thing. We're gonna let them be. And we're gonna come back later on and cover it up with carbon. Um, also, if you need anything else down below, whether it's an EMP shield, chicken processing video, the world's best coffee. In fact, that's all we drink anymore. Get that hollow roast coffee down below. Anything you need from us, bam, we got it. Don't forget to check us out on the Permaculture Pimp Cast. We'll be putting out another episode pretty soon. All right, y'all, till next time, this is Billy from Permapastures Farm, where permaculture is my passion. And making waste streams into very productive soil is a bigger passion. We'll see you next time.